Whether they're just a passing fad or the digital currency of the future, bitcoins have arrived in Australia. A growing number of businesses are beginning to accept them, while over the coming weeks, bitcoin ATMs could be rolled out across the country. Jessica Longbottom reports. It's a very, 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 very Using a virtual currency to buy a bricks and mortar investment. For the first time in Australia, a Sydney real estate agent will be accepting bitcoins to make it easier for overseas buyers. We saw it as a great opportunity for them to be able to transfer money overnight, where sometimes deposits took up to two weeks. The business joins a growing number of Australian companies accepting bitcoins, from manufacturers to cafes. It started four years ago, a digital currency generated by computer codes, guaranteeing anonymous transactions. <gasps> it's magic internet money. No, uh, <laughs> that's, what, that's what people call it. So I can exchange with anybody anywhere in the world, real property, instantaneously. This startup is reaping the benefits, helping people buy, store and sell bitcoins. In Australia, we've done about $30 million in transactions. And that's just in nine months. Also a sign of the growing popularity, Bitcoin ATMs to be rolled out in Sydney and Melbourne in the next two weeks. People can easily um, buy Bitcoin through them, but they also can pull out cash uh, from their Bitcoin account. Introducing them, controversial financial educator Jamie McIntyre, who's previously been investigated by ASIC over his wealth creation business. But Bitcoin has its detractors. For one, it's volatile. At the end of last year, one Bitcoin was worth more than $1,000. At the moment, it's worth around 540 and last month, more than $500 million worth were hacked from a Tokyo Bitcoin company. I don't think it's a good investment. The question is whether Bitcoins really are going to become a medium of exchange in some way, and maybe they will. More than 100 Bitcoin ATMs are expected to be rolled out across Australia in the next year. Jessica Longbottom, Lateline.